Hi, I'm Greg Boyd. I'm here at the House of Fine Instruments. I've got a Pruka banjo in my hand. It's a highly customized uh, presentation style uh, walnut spirit banjo. So this is the one of the newer models from Pruka with a spirit shaped peg head and the elaborate kind of tendril type inlays that are associated with the spirit line. Uh, very delicate inlays that sort of spill from one fret into another, but still obvious with the big marks at the right, the correct frets. The hardware is black nickel and gold sort of juxtaposed with each other, with even the tailpiece being black nickel base and engraved gold top. Um, flanges, black nickel. Uh, I have a real elaborate deep gouge engraving on the tension hoop and the tone ring. Um, now the maybe the finest part is the wood. The walnut is quite incredible. Um, of this wood here, um, luthiers never get more than three to seven pieces of wood like this and then they have to hunt again for another batch because this is usually coming out of one special uh, crotch uh, area on a tree uh, where you see the spray of, of the figure separate or it's a burl when you see the real tight curl. So this is crotch figured walnut and this is a solid resonator, uh, what Pruka calls a massive resonator. Um, so it's turned in, it's two blocks of wood, turned on a lathe and then scraped, hand scraped to be voiced. And Pruka's solid resonator, which he calls a massive resonator, is also turned and shaped on the inside. So it's not just flat on the inside like a Gibson uh, solid wood resonator would be on one of their top tensions, for example. So this is a traditional build with the one piece flange, uh, five eighths uh, rim, three ply maple rim. Um, quite a nice banjo. I, it's uh, really quite a nice banjo. <laughs>